and I'm with our volunteer Jason. Hello. And today's episode we're going to be tap tackling the, um, what do we call it? <laughs> Worktop <laughs> <laughs> for the bathroom downstairs in the coach house. Um, it's that beautiful old piece of elm that fell in a storm at Mark's family home in I think the 90s and they cut it into slices to use in the future and Mark got a piece and brought it here and it's absolutely gorgeous but it's a little bit worm eaten, wood worm eaten. So yesterday, I didn't film it, but Jason um, treated the wood and it's all nice and dry now but what we'd like to do is fill in a few of the holes so it's not quite so obvious. You want a bit of character but I think there's too many aren't there mm -hmm. really yeah, in this yeah. one. It's a bit too much. And so we have pat a bois, uh, wood filler paste and this and are you happy if I just leave you filling in these little yeah. holes Yeah. and then once you've filled it in we'll let it dry and um, then just sand it off and see what it looks like at that point. Sounds good. A bois is just getting a little bit on my fingers and just kind of rubbing it into the holes. It's really simple, um, but this will help plug them up. They dry, I think, overnight. It takes a few hours for it to dry completely, and then you don't have worm hole filled wood to work with. I'm going to make sure to scrape it off so that it's nice and smooth, and then. Uh, we're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to sand over this so that it um, looks even nicer. After we sand, I think we're going to put some, um, some treatment on it, uh, some kind of wood oil to protect it. And that's all. So just a lot of rubbing in the pate and filling these holes. And that'll do it. I like to save as much of these little shavings as I can because this is actually really hard to get out of the bottle. And we're running a little low, so I hope we have enough for the whole piece. So I guess I'll talk a little bit about Michaela and I and what we're doing here. Uh, we've been traveling um, all through Europe really for the last eight months. We I uh, live in Kansas City, in the middle of the United States, and you know, we've been doing something called WorkAway, where we do work exchanges with uh, host families, and we get an opportunity to visit another country and, and really, um, really experience what life is like in um, that place. And so instead of a vacation, we're actually moving in and living with families temporarily. Um, and helping them with projects and work that they need help with around the house. Um, so we found Mark and Amy and knew that this would be a great fit for us. Um, we loved just uh, how they described their home and um, their life here and, and just uh, their personalities really shown through the, uh, the profile. And so we did a video chat and then um, decided to come and visit them here in Chateau de Rosier, St. Lucien. Um, and it's been really wonderful. We like being able to help out and um, hopefully get this chateau uh, 
you know, help bring it back to life, help it restore it, as they've been doing such a good job for, uh, for a long time here. It's fun to be a part of that. Even though we're just making a very small, meager contribution to this very big project. But yeah, it's been a wonderful experience being able to travel and see different cultures and different countries and just visiting and meeting different people and making friends and connections. It's a really, really amazing experience. We're learning a lot. Excited about coming back home with new uh, experiences and new perspectives and uh, just really, really enjoyed, enjoyed our time doing this. It's not every day you get to stay at a chateau in France. <sighs> it's one good thing about work away is being able to honestly try your hand at different um, different tasks and different crafts. Um, it's part of the part of the new experiences that we get to um, try out are um, just new jobs and new you test your hand at them and maybe apply those um, to our own home, our own projects back home. So, like I said earlier, uh, Michaela and I are from Kansas City. Uh, if you're not familiar with that part of the United States, it's, uh, it's in the Great Plains. It's a very um, kind of agricultural state, uh, Kansas. Um, Kansas City is actually on the border of both the states of Kansas and Missouri, but it's right there in the center of the United States. So lots of farmland, lots of agricultural um, kind of industries, big cow, cattle country, and uh, wheat and corn, but we love it. We always talked about doing something like this, a trip to uh, Europe where uh, we, could actually uh, spend a lot of time uh, discovering the country instead of, you know, having forced uh, to come back home because of limitations with you know, money or time. So we actually decided to leave our jobs. We put all of our stuff into storage. Um, had friends and family help hold on to some things for us, and uh, decided to. Uh, just fly <laughs> to Europe and uh, start traveling abroad. Uh, we've, like I said, we've been doing it for eight months now, and it's been fantastic. Um, oh, my back is starting to. Oh. Ah. You were made for this screen. What? You were made for the screen. No, that's not true. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're good on camera. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> this sanded uh, should be good for a nice oiling and should look nice and smooth. And so we need to probably wait till tomorrow, don't we, to, mm -hmm. yeah. before sanding. Yes. And then we can work on the oiling, which will be, it's going to transform it, isn't it? I think so. I think it's going to be a nice piece. Fantastic. Yeah. 
And I have an idea for everybody for tonight, which is that we stay down here and we have a barbecue. Let's do it. That sounds good. They were, they fed them uh, before they left. Uh, okay. Are you filming me? Are you going to be a little videographer like your parents? Wait, Say hi. Say hi. Say hello. So, Orie or Oriai? O R E I L L E. Then I have it. Yeah, uh, uh, no, it's a bank.